no, this is not good. I am so overweight now. I need to deal with this as soon as possible. Oh, what's this? This is exactly what I need. A talk tomorrow at school and it's free. How timely. Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to listen to and understand a talk given by a health expert. Listen and pronounce words with voiced and unvoiced or th sounds and use should and should not correctly in statements. Today is a really exciting day. A dietitian is here with us to give a talk about the importance of keeping ourselves healthy. So, I am going to listen to this talk with you. We need to pay attention and be quiet so that we can hear what she plans to share with us today. Here she is. In conjunction with this week's theme of keeping fit, SMK Serene Park is proud to welcome Dr. Florida Chin from Harrison Hospital Group to the stage. Dr. Chin will give us a talk about the importance of keeping ourselves healthy. Let's give a big round of applause for Dr. Chin. Thank you, Linda. How is everyone feeling today? I am so excited to be a part of today's event and I have received very positive responses from everyone here. You must be very anxious to know more about today's topic. Judging from the crowd, I can tell that health is a growing concern among teenagers now. Well, that is something to be proud of. It merely shows that many young people are aware of this issue. Looking after one's health does not always mean that you are cutting down on carbohydrates or limiting yourself from the food that you like. We must first understand the purpose of looking after our own health. To look after our health means to be aware of the food and drinks we consume and also to know what to avoid. We should also know our ideal weight and exercise regularly. Cutting down on food and binging on certain snacks may shed a few kilograms, but you will also lose a lot of nutrition along the way. We should know how to balance our diet. Desserts which contain a lot of sugar should be avoided. Opt for healthier options like low sugar yogurt, fruits and sugarless jelly instead. It is essential for teenagers to keep themselves healthy because they need to focus in class. Since you are still growing, lacking certain nutrients and minerals in the body can cause you to be lethargic and unattentive in class. You will experience difficulty concentrating in class and be less interested to socialize with your peers. Surely, you want to be with your friends to celebrate their birthdays and do other recreational activities, right? Healthy teenagers usually have positive image about themselves too, and they are usually happier too. When you are healthy, you send out positive energy to people around you, and this will attract your peers to like being around you. Having friends around you to do the activities that you like is great. Right, boys and girls? This is definitely a good reason to keep yourself healthy. It is also crucial to look after your appearance as it can boost your self-esteem. Keeping your body healthy makes your hair strong and your skin looks good too. As a matter of fact, your body will reflect what you consume and how you exercise to keep in shape. You should avoid processed foods, junk food and spend so much time indoor. Get out of your room and inhale the fresh air in the morning. If you are a beginner, 
try a less vigorous exercise like yoga or stretching so that your body is not shocked or strained by the sudden exercises you do. I really hope you can try out these tips so that you can have a healthier body and be happy teenagers. Thank you for having me today. When was the last time you do your stretching exercise? If you haven't, I think you really should give it a go. Phew! In this segment, we are going to list some of the steps that you should do and the things that you should not do from the top. But first, do you know when we use the model verb should and the negative form should not? Let us look at the word should. This is also known as a model verb. We use this word to recommend an action to be taken. Of course, you will need an action word after this word, which we know as verb. When we want to suggest someone to carry out an action, we can also use the word should before the verb. Here are some examples. Example 1. You should listen attentively to the talk so that you don't miss important information. The verb is listen. The verb is always used in its root form after the modal verb should or should not. Let's look at example 2. should not eat so much candies because they are high in sugar. In this example, the model verb should is used in its negative form, should not. Even though the word not is present there, the verb that follows remain to be in its root form. I have another example for you. As teenagers, we should exercise regularly so that we are fit and healthy. Can you tell me the action word in this example? What's that? Uh, speak louder, I can't hear you. Ah, yes, you're absolutely right. The action word or the verb is exercise. In this sentence, it is recommended or suggested that teenagers perform exercises regularly to keep themselves fit and healthy. Now, now that you know when and how to use should and should not, let us practice. In each practice, there will be a sentence which positions the model verb should or should not wrongly. Can you choose the correct sentence? Practice 1. Everyone at school should obey to school rules. Everyone should at school obey the school rules. Which one is correct? The first sentence or the second sentence? Alright, you have 5 seconds to decide. The clock is sticking. Be quick, students. Ha! Brilliant. This sentence is correct. Everyone at school should obey the school rules. Here is another one. Are you ready? Practice two. Litter should not be to keep our environment clean in parks. We should not litter in parks Keep our environment clean. You have five seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. What's your answer? Spot on! Well done, boys and girls. I'm very proud of you. This is the answer. We should not litter in parks to keep our environment clean. Okay, we have one more practice to do. Practice 3. The children were told that they should eat more fruits and vegetables to keep themselves healthy. The children to keep themselves 
healthy should were told that they eat more fruits and vegetables. Choose the correct sentence. Are you all set? Five, four, three, two, and one. Which one is the correct sentence? Yippee! You've got this. The correct sentence is... Children were told that they should eat more fruits and vegetables to keep themselves healthy. Did you notice a pattern in all three correct sentences? Let's look at the sentences again. This is the first sentence. Everyone at school should obey the school rules. Let's identify the action word first. What is the verb used in the sentence? Let me give you a hint. The verb comes immediately after the modal verb should. Yes, the action word or verb here is the word obey. This sentence starts with the person or people who carries out the action. Let's think, what is the purpose of using should in this sentence? In this sentence, the writer is giving an advice to the readers. What is the advice? Write again to obey the school rules. It is stated in the sentence. In its negative form, should not stops you from doing the action. It tells you that there will be a consequence if you do it, like getting a punishment for breaking a school rule. Shall we look at the answer we chose in practice two again? We should not litter in parks to keep our environment clean. What do you think will happen if you litter in parks? I can think of some punishments already. What about you? You can see them on signboards in recreational parks, like getting summons or jailed. Throwing rubbish in public places is a crime. We have come to the third example. The children were told that they should eat more fruits and vegetables to keep themselves healthy. From this sentence, can you tell me the answers for these questions? Action. Word. People or person. Other information related to the verb. Now, let's check our answers. Action words Told, eat, keep People or person The children Other information related to the verb Fruits make them healthy Did you get the same answer? Good job! Let's recap some of the information we have about this modal verb we know that we can use should to suggest an action. A verb is usually placed immediately after a modal verb should. We add the word not to the modal verb should to form a negative statement. Now, shall we do more exercises on should and should not? I will give you some time to answer. Here is the instruction. Look at each picture and try to construct a sentence using the modal verb should. The action word is provided for each picture. Don't forget to add more information about the action. An easy way to make your sentences longer is by adding the word because. When you have this word, you have to provide a reason for doing the action. That is so easy, right? Write your sentences on a piece of paper. Picture 1. Eight glasses of water plus drink. 
picture two. Fruits and vegetables plus half. Picture three. Desserts, candies plus consume. Picture four. Picture of someone at the gym exercise. Picture five. Junk food plus avoid. Do you have your sentences with you? You can show your sentences to your teacher or share them with your friends. I will show you my sentences. Here we go. Picture one. We should drink at least eight glasses of water to avoid dehydration. Picture two. Teenagers should have more vegetables and fruits in their diet to promote healthy body and skin. Picture three. Children should not consume too much desserts and candies because they can get too ache from too much sugar. Picture four. Growing children should exercise at least twice a week to keep themselves healthy because a healthy body leads to a healthy mind. Picture five. We should avoid junk food in our diet because they contain a lot of salt and lack the nutrition that our body needs in order to grow. Now, that was not so hard, was it? We're going to move on to the listening segment now. Do you remember the talk by Dr. Florida Chin at school? I learned a lot from her talk. There are three listening activities. Have you got your pens and paper ready? Here we go. Activity one. Listen to the talk by the health expert again. Write T for true statements, F for false statements, and N for not mentioned. Let us look at the statements. We need to go through all the statements before the audio is played. Just like in your listening test. The first one is done for you. Take some time to read all the statements in exercise one. The key is to listen for the keywords in the audio. This is the first example which is done for you. Health is an important issue to teenagers now. T. What are the keywords in this statement? We are looking at the words like health, important, teenagers. Sometimes certain words in the audio are not present. They use different words that carry the same meaning. For example, the word important is not used in the talk. Instead, the health expert used the expression growing concern which could also mean important. Hence, you need to listen carefully and understand the message that is being conveyed. Are you ready? Let's listen to the talk by the health expert again. Be ready to write your answers as you listen. Cutting down on food intake and binging on snacks can help someone to be healthy. Desserts like durian ice cream and cakes are delicious. We should choose food that contain less sugar in our diet. We must weigh ourselves regularly so that we know our ideal weight. Let's check our answers. 1. Sample 2. F 3. N 4. T 5. N Did you find the exercise difficult? 
never mind if you make some mistakes anyway. It is only a sign that you are learning and you need more practice. We have two more listening exercises. The next exercise will require you to fill in the gaps with the missing words. You will listen to a recording from the talk and complete this passage with the words from the audio. Try to get the spelling right too. Let's proceed with exercise 2. Fill in the gaps in the email below with the information from the talk. You may choose the words from this box. Hi Darla! I am going to share some of the tips from a talk I recently attended. First and foremost, it is important for teenagers to keep themselves fill in the blank since they need to focus in class. We should ensure that our bodies have sufficient nutrients and minerals so that we do not become fill in the blank in class. When we are healthy, we will also be keen to fill in the blank with our fill in the blank healthy teenagers will also send out positive vibes to people around them and enjoy fill in the blank activities. Ha! Are you ready to check your answers? Now, here they are. Did you get 5 out of 5? You've done great in this exercise. Let's see if you can answer exercise 3. Exercise 3 is a matching exercise. Listen to this part of the talk and try to match the clauses as you listen. That sounds like a piece of cake, right? It is very important to listen carefully. Look at the clauses in both columns. Give yourself one minute to read all of them. Draw a line to join these clauses from column A to B so that they become complete sentences. There are five sentences in total. Are you all set? Let's begin. It's time to check your answers. Are you ready? Here they are. Number one, healthy teenagers usually have positive image about themselves and are happier. Having friends around you is great. 3. It is crucial to look after your appearance as it can boost your self-esteem. 4. Your body will reflect what you consume and how you exercise to keep you in shape. 5. If you are a beginner, try a less vigorous exercise like yoga or stretching so that your body is not shocked or strained by the sudden exercises you do. So, how do you do? I am glad that you find this exercise easy to do. Matching exercise is quite easy to do because the clauses are provided for you. However, there is a catch. You need to listen carefully for the cues. The cues are the keywords in the listening text. We have now come to pronunciation segment. We are going to look at these two sounds today. The th sound, voiced and unvoiced. Let's try out these tongue twisters. Is it this, that, those, this and them or for when that I eat this? Whether the weather is cold, whether the weather is hot, the weather, the weather, whatever the weather. Did you hear the thicker sound of the th sound in all the words like weather? That, this, and that. I have two more sets of tongue twisters for you to try out. Let me give you one minute to read them. After that, let's read them together. 
read them on your own first. Are you ready? Let's read them together. Can you read them faster? Aunt Beth has thick cheeks, thin lips, three teeth and thin mouth. Two, three thin panthers are in the bathroom. The way we pronounce the, the sound in Beth, and those are different because one is voiced and the other one is unvoiced. When it is voiced, there is vocal cord vibration. You can place your hand on your throat and feel the vibration on your vocal cord. Unvoiced th sounds do not have this vibration, so your vocal cord is more relaxed. Hence, you cannot feel the vibration on your throat. Some common words with unvoiced th sound are thank, think, and third. Here's a challenge for all of you. The voiced and unvoiced th sounds can be found in one sentence. Would you like to try? Here it is. They thankfully think this thing is the best thing that they can throw the three times they need to throw a thing. The talk by the health expert also had words with these sounds. Can you identify the words from this grid? Circle the words that contain the th sound. Shall we discuss the answers? What words have you circled? The words are healthy, lethargic and themselves. Very good. Which words have the unvoiced th sound? The words are healthy and lethargic. Good. Is there any word with the voice th sound? Yes, the word is themselves. I am so glad you're still with me. We have finally come to the end of today's lesson. But before we end, let's recap what you have learned today. You have learned how to use should and should not. You have also learned how to position these model verbs in sentences. You learn how to pronounce the voiced and unvoiced the sounds in words and practice some tongue twisters. You have also listened to a talk about the importance of keeping yourselves healthy. From the talk, you practice listening for details and main ideas. That sounds to me like a lot of learning for today. Well done, boys and girls. Give yourself a pat on your backs for the hard work. Before this lesson ends, I would like you to look at this picture. There is no need to write this time. You need to give at least one statement using should and another one statement using should not. And I'm giving you 30 seconds to complete this task. Are you ready? Get set, go! Okay boys and girls, time's up! Were you able to do that exercise? I would like to share with you my answers. Are they similar to yours? Should. We should not use our mobile phones in cinema. Should not. We should not use our mobile phones in cinema. Should. We should keep our mobile phones silent in cinema. I really hope this lesson has been a fruitful session for all of you out there. Don't be afraid to try out more tongue twisters to practice your voice and unvoice the sounds. I wish you all the best in your studies. Thank you for watching. Remember now, stay home and stay safe. Bye-bye.